hello um just a quick little update i sometimes do videos generally when i've had too much coffee and that is very true right now and when i'm particularly pissed off about something or excited about something or generally have an emotion that i need to share and have no one else to share it with so um here's the thing number one I got my vegan runner shirt on and I went running for the first time in uh, Switzerland at my new cat sitting place um, here for the next couple of weeks, drinking more coffee because, you know, fuck it. Mm. And, uh, and I'm super excited about it because it was super, 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 super fun. And I went out on a trail near the apartment I'm staying in and I was running around the woods like a wild jungle cat and it was magical and I wanted to sing that the hills are alive with the sound of music and yet I did not because I was in the trees and I thought that would be weird. So either way, I tried on my new running shoes, which are um, Brooks. There's a vegan company because I can't be a vegan runner if I don't have vegan shoes, right? And, um, and they're amazing. They're trail shoes. And um, they had some wicked grip. And I was just like, a, I was seriously a wild jungle cat on the roots and the rocks. And even though I was only allowed to do three kilometers, I made sure every step was a, a moment of glee. So thank you, Switzerland. Um, so I've recently run into some uh, just sort of frustration um, still. I, got, um, I, I follow a lot of vegan groups and, of course, animal rights groups. I think, um, or, you know, on Facebook and social media and things like this. And um, somebody recently posted, and I've had messages about it recently, um, about um, dog meat and, and things like this. And... Which is unavoidable if you run an animal rescue in Vietnam that people are going to talk about it and that's going to be a major subject um, that you're going to have to address frequently. Um, so I recognize that when I started the organization six and a half years ago that I also was particularly particularly pissed off about, about dog meat and um, having the dog catcher in my neighborhood all the time and, and constantly hearing about people's animals being stolen and things like this. Um, none of mine were because uh, security is not something I take particularly lightly. Um, but a lot of people that were a bit lax on things or some that were just kind of not careful enough for a moment and you know had an issue and they lost their their animals and 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 that that just pissed me off it just pissed me off and i was you know i was really stressed out i was working too much i was still doing my masters and it's just like this constant um anger i just sort of carried around with me at people that were consuming dog meat and um and and continuing to um just sort of i don't know feed into the industry um by you know i mean the, the authorities just won't do anything about it but it's not illegal so you can't um you can't expect them to um but i think general just i was just pissed off and you know I, there was even a point where I pulled a knife on a dog catcher. <laughs> Should I admit this? Uh, pulled a knife on a dog catcher while driving my motorbike up next to him. He was he was in our neighborhood, and I was just like, I always have like a knife or um, like a Leatherman uh, multi tool on me generally because I drive really shitty motorbikes, and you have to like, um, I have idle problems and so there's like a little screw so so I generally have a knife on me and also working with animals you just sort of get used to having a weapon but um another weapon <laughs> for animals no I think um I was used to having a weapon because I felt constantly like I've been in a lot of places where you just kind of needed one so um so yeah so I pulled a knife on this guy and I've done other things like I've thrown things at them while driving. I mean, like pretty much every time I see them, I've like screamed shit at them or whatever. But I'm, um, you know, sort of over the years, I realized that a that's not going to do anything. Um, and be like nobody, re like it's not worse what they do than the multiple times of animals that are that are consumed by other. Um, uh, by by like everybody in the country um so pigs chickens cows and ducks mostly obviously there's others and of course seafood is a huge huge um product that um meteors are eating as well um in a coastal country um uh, with a the pretty hardcore like fishing industry so 
So I was, I was angry. I was angry like everybody else. And, um, you know, I too had seen all the videos and on top of just being able to experience on a daily basis, um, you know, I went around to a dog meat restaurant one time on a run in the morning at like four o'clock in the morning and I took their sign out and I just smashed the shit out of it. Like I, I was really angry. Um, then I went to a dog meat, um, restaurant owner and like, it was also in the morning and I, like I screamed at him and I hit the fence in his face. I mean, like I just, I was violent about it. I was really pissed off. Um, over time I've realized that that is, I think maybe a perfectly rational reaction at first, but it is not really productive and it's not really based on, um, sort of the, the reality of who has, who is suffering more in, in Vietnam and who we really need to, I mean, globally and, um, who we need to be spending more, more time, um, addressing, um, protecting and defending and getting, you know, just getting the damn word out there that dogs are certainly not the only animals that suffer. I mean, technically, statistically speaking, they are very small, um, in, in number compared to seafood is the number one animal killed in the sea life, fish, all kinds of different fish. Um, we're looking at over 2 trillion individuals that are killed every year for the global market. Um, chickens are next. Um, and then we've got cattle, sheep. Um, we don't have a ton of sheep in Vietnam, but cattle, sheep, um, what are, ducks, we've got all sorts of animals that people eat. Um, and then like way, 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 way down there, we've got dogs and cats, um, companion animals. So the majority of funding and the majority of attention from animal welfare, which I don't really give a shit about. Um, that's another subject, but, um, and uh, uh, big organizations and even people that aren't involved in animals, the, people want to talk about, um, dogs and cats, dogs and cats, dogs and cats, because these are the animals that we identify mostly because mostly with, because they're in our homes, but it's just simply not, it just isn't reflective of any measure of truth as to, as to who is, who's in the most pain. Um, and I feel like, I feel like today I, I just got, I'm, I'm really quite finished with it. There was a, there was an article about um, a dog meat market in South Korea being closed down. And it was actually posted in a vegan, uh, in, in a vegan page on Facebook. And everybody's like, yay, this is amazing. This is amazing. And I'm like, yeah, is it? Is it really? Um, I think for the individual animals, potentially, but this is another one of those projects by Humane Society International, which I have absolutely zero good shit to say about if it's not related to dog sterilization projects, because they are pretty fucking amazing on dog sterilization and rabies vaccination and things like that. And I will give them all the credit in the world for the projects that they do related to that. Um, but when it comes down to the billions of other animals that they clearly could give two shits about, um, and are continuing to promote their consumption of, I simply just like, I can't be bothered being, uh, nice about it anymore. I'm done. So, so HSI and their little henchmen, um, in, in Korea who are more than likely not vegans, just like HSI, um, have shut down this slaughterhouse or, or meat market or whatever dog meat market. Frankly, I don't really give a shit what it is. Um, they've done this a few times and this is something that it gets just an enormous amount of media. Um, because every, all the doggy loving meat eaters of the world are just like, you know, popping their champagne bottles. Well, they can go ahead and share their champagne with the, with the livestock farmers. Um, because that's where that demand goes. So they are not in any way promoting a vegan message In no way has HSI or any of their organizations that are partnered with them ever said specifically stop eating animals, period, any species. Stop consuming animal products. At no point has that been part of their messaging. Yeah, they're like, oh, well, look at these savages eating puppies and kitties. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Great. Um, but let's go ahead and, like, make slightly larger cages for chickens and, like, give get rid of gestation crates for pigs and make sure that cows get grass once in a while before we murder them unnecessarily. 
This is a this is a simple concept that no one, no one would ever say would make dog meat acceptable. Ever. There is no one on the planet that's saying, let's give dog bigger cages before we beat them on the head, slit their throats, and fry them up. Who the fuck is saying that? But for some reason, these organizations, these animal organizations, these advocates are like, no, no, no. I mean, like, don't do that for dogs, but like totally fine for every other species that we unnecessarily shove in our faces in spite of the fact that we have no nutritional need for them for our survival aside from that so everybody's like yay yay and okay here's the thing so they're not going to eat dogs fine those people that do consume animal dogs from that particular market are going to have a little bit more difficulty consuming them from other sources they're going to have to find other places that are also producing them i'm being able to get their dog meat there other restaurants other parts of the country i don't know will they stop eating dog completely because it's inconvenient it's not impossible that's great other dogs are not being killed so so that's an issue. However, they're not going to be eating that dog meat, but they're still going to be eating any other animal and nobody wants to talk about it. Yeah, so the pig farmers and all these livestock farmers are just having a blast because their demand has gone up. Their, their animals' corpses are gonna be on everybody else's table more than they were before because the dogs are not being consumed and the meat eaters are still meat eaters. Yeah, until dog meat consumers go vegan, I'm not fucking celebrating. I'm just not. This is asinine. So whatever. And then HSI, of course, is going to take all these puppies and and uh, out of the dog meat restaurant or markets or whatever. And more than likely, they're going to put them on a plane to Los Angeles where they have plenty of dogs that need homes in Los Angeles. <sighs> and all the people that really want like a a status symbol rescue are going to say, oh, well, definitely I want a dog meat dog. Yeah, look, please stop fetishizing dog meat dogs. It's really, really weird. Number one, the, the, mm, the majority of dog suffering in Vietnam and China are, are doing so because of infectious disease, lack of management for infectious disease, accidents, abuse, neglect, lack of veterinary capacity in areas where animals need to access veterinarians, yeah, and the inability of, of, of veterinarians to do proper diagnosis and treatment, lack of availability of drugs. This, I'm not, I'm saying mostly for Vietnam. Um, China, of course, has, has similar problems all over Asia, all over the developing world in general. Um, we have a, a lack of veterinary capacity that is preventing animals on a daily basis from getting basic health care, preventing them from being sterilized. The information is not coming from vets to sterilize their animals. They are not promoting it because they're making money off breeders. That's a worldwide problem. Thank you. And, um, you know, I was just like, I don't, I, I kind of hate my job a lot because, not kind of hate my job a lot. Yeah, my vocabulary is great when I drink coffee. Um... I, I'm really tired of the inconsistent messaging. I'm really tired of people who aren't vegan getting all in a huff about dog meat. You're like, well, how's your milkshake taste? Thanks for murdering the mother who had five babies before she had her throat slit because she doesn't make enough fucking milk for your dumb ass. Thanks for that. Oh, yeah, yeah, but doggies, because pets were stolen. Pets were stolen. Please, God, I want to be nice about it. I do, and I know it's my job to, like, be unnaturally pleasant to people who are fuckwits. That is most of my job. If I had to write my job description, that would be at the top. Be irrationally pleasant to fucking morons. That's my job. And I would actually call myself one of those morons about six and a half years ago, because... I just started the organization. I didn't know that dog meat was not nearly as bad as every other mass consumption of, of, of other animals' bodies. I had no fucking idea. So yeah, I educated myself and it hurt. Hurt like shit. It did. And I am angry about it right now and I am frustrated and annoyed and I think most people don't think about it. And mostly we're a product of oh, really dumb shit media by organizations that require meat eaters to contribute. It is, it, it's up to them to 
to get people who participate in animal cruelty on a daily basis to continue to keep their damn lights on and their salaries paid. And, and unfortunately, that means they're just going to address people that love doggies and continue to consume other animals instead of just unequivocally saying, you know what? There is no moral justification for the consumption of any animal product at all. Period. Just be straightforward. God, and I get so much shit for just being straightforward about that and like following through on some basic logic and it just I'm just really tired of it and I think I'm super hungry right now too so on top of just having maybe a little bit test a little bit too much testosterone and adrenaline in my system for running for the first time in three months and after the surgery my hernia surgery I feel like maybe this was not necessarily the best time to record a video but Ugh, I am painfully passionate about this subject. I'm just tired of the inconsistency, and I really wish animal rescues um, across the world would buck up and be a little more fucking straightforward. Ugh, I realize that probably the two most common words in my vocabulary are fucking vegan. So, I don't really know how that goes together. I'm not going to moderate my language when talking about this. So there you go. Anyway, but I have realized after talking to myself for 15 minutes that I do not like the color of my hat. Especially because I have a vegan runner's shirt on. Anyway, I represent vegan runners and I'm going to open up a vegan runner's chapter in Vietnam as soon as possible whenever I get home in September. Uh, but right now I'm just going to train and get my ass together and hopefully calm down a little bit because I'm really tired of you anti-dog meat people who continue to participate in animal cruelty on a daily basis. And I'm going to be nice any other time, but like I just needed to get my shit out, okay? So we're done. I will continue to attempt to engage you in an illogical amount of friendliness. Thanks. Bye.